That negates her height when she's so soft handling the ball, easily taken away that time. Wide open and off the bounce. The jumper's good for Williams. Coach Thornton uh, selling these players on a chance to make history to come to Arkansas Pine Bluff and have their pictures on the wall as a champion. And that's a nice move by Morgan. Beck overshoots that offensive rebound though by Reese. Three on the way. Uh-oh, Lady Lions getting hot. That's Shepard that knocks that one down. Under a minute to play in the opening half. Pete down low, spins to her right, and one. Maybe take the lead here. Beck lobbing it down to Pete between two defenders, gets it back, and Beck gonna take it in herself, and she'll go to the line, and one. Oh God, Mayday, they just hit everything they throw up. <laughs> Will she hit this? Three on the way, and it is good in the corner by Imani McLean. Baton Rouge, the teams ate dinner together. It's just nice, a nice exchange between the two programs in those conferences. Three, buried by Shepard. That's why I think Arkansas Pine Block uh, is gonna pop up on a lot of radars for next year with this team coming back. Three is good from Fontenot. She was the player that hit the buzzer beater last night. Leads by example. Little high-low possibility here. Three on the way from Shepard. Nothing but net, and she is fouled. Metcalf holding it out front. It's a screen from White. She'll pull up for the jumper. Got it. Shooter's roll. Johnson pulls up, knocks it down. We'll get it in. Let's see if they make a shot. And it's going to be Reese taking the three. Beck misses. That's it. Southern University is the SWAT champion and will go to the NCAA tournament. What a ride it was for the Lady Jaguars less than 24 hours ago. It seemed like they were completely dead in the water. It was a miracle shot that got them here. And once they got here, they set the tone early in this game. They go on to win it. They are going to the NCAA tournament, 62 to 53 winners over a very good UAPB program that came up short today, Sam. It is a team that feels like it has a little destiny involved. As last night, they shocked the nation with the buzzer beater against Jackson State. And then less than a day later, they follow it up with the SWAC championship. And so it will be Southern moving on to the NCAA tournament as a representative of the SWAC. They will find out their fate tomorrow night on the selection show at 8 Eastern. So